Hello and welcome in today's exciting episode. I will be taking this gorgeous Chanel tweed in pink and green and turning it into a jacket. It's perfect, 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 perfect jacket. Okay, let's get this jacket made. So I've cut out all the pieces in this gorgeous um, Chanel tweed in greens and pink. Now it's time to lay out all the backing fabric. You can't really see it. And then on top of each of the piece of backing fabric, I put the, um, the outer, so the tweed pieces. Then I pin them all together. So the sleeves, the upper and the under sleeve and then all the torso I've pinned them all together so it's time to machine sew once I machine sew all the long seams then I pinned the top of the front and the top of the back together to form the shoulder and then I machine sewed them so now everything is machine sewed and it is time to pin back the seam allowance on every single one of the seams that I just did and then once everything's pinned I will hand sew it all Hours of fun. Hours and hours. I was watching episodes of an old TV show while I stitched them all, so it was actually kind of fun. So I hand-stitched all the seams, and then once that was done, I pinned the um, backing fabric to the tweed, and then I hand-stitched them together very carefully. When you stitch the two together, you want it to be loose enough so that from the outside you can't see any of your stitching and so that the tweed looks natural but you want the stitches to be firm enough so that there's actual support there so yeah it's quite a balancing act but eventually it was all done and I decided that after that was done I needed to add some pink beads so I got out my pale pink box so yeah I've got an entire box just of pastels and musks and you know pale pinks so um I got so excited I just poured all the ones I grabbed all the ones I wanted and I poured them into a um, plastic container so yeah sorry I should have um taken pictures of each of them first but you can kind of see them anyway there's some big loop ones some most of them are plastic and um oh this is editing me they're actually, these ones are actually much more pastel in real life. And um, I did get out the per my glass pearls in really pale pinks, but I don't think I'll use them on this. That One of the last jackets I did was the Edinburgh jacket, and I used a lot of glass beads in that. And yeah, I just know that I want to wear this pink and green one, use it as an everyday one. So yeah. And the Edinburgh one, I love it, but it's just the tiniest bit too heavy for an everyday jacket. I'm going to wear it as an everyday jacket. Anyway, um, there's these other pink ones I was trying to look for, but I couldn't find them. So I just went ahead with the ones that I've collected and I've put a little bit on each cuff and I've started doing the bottom of the jacket. I have, I'm not going to do the top until I sew the sleeves on. So yeah, but I've got it plenty of beads to do that so what I think I'll do is just a little bit more on the bottom here and then once that's done I'll put it on the mannequin and let you have a look at it but yeah it's looking adorable so far here we go, I did loads more beading and ooh, it's a little lopsided. I didn't, when I was working on it, I didn't feel like it was that lopsided. The larger side, the right side, um, oh yeah, I didn't really do much more to the cuffs. They're just as they were and, um, but they're still looking very cute. And then, yeah, here's the front. This is the one side I've done quite a lot more and there's also some little seed beads in there as well. I haven't done that on the other side yet. I just sort of wanted to see what it looks like. But yeah, it's very cute. And um, this is it from the side. Mm, I feel like maybe I should have left a few more patchy bits in between. It just looks like globs of pink. But um, it looks adorable up close, but maybe not so great from far away. I have these large pink sequin and I was going to put some of those around the top and then um, before I did the beading on the top because you sort of need some focus focal points when you usually when you do the top but um 
Yeah, I'm not sure. They change colour a lot. They go quite peachy to quite pink. And I don't know, they're not... I'm seeing the peachy bit but and the pale pink, but not the very pink. So I'm not entirely sure that they'll match. I'm not sure. I'm sort of second guessing myself now. I think what I'll do is just work on evening out the bottom, the bit around the hem, and then sort of go from there. Because I'm using pink thread to put the beads on, I've had to leave the hem out. That's why it's just there. But you can probably see the pearl tip pins that sort of show you where the bottom of the jacket will be. So you'll sort of see a little bit of green at the bottom. And um, yeah, maybe I'll leave the top blank of and no beads at the top and I'll just make a little sort of brooch clustery thing on one side out of beads. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I think what I'll do is just, um, and also the bottom, I like that it's asymmetrical. So I think I might lean into that. I do still need to do a bit more beading, but I think I'll make it asymmetrical. And then, yeah, then it'll be time to pop those, sew those, attach the sleeves. So yeah, I'll just do a bit more beading and we'll see where we are. I did loads more beading. I even put little runs of seed beads in there. I was worried that I had these um, sort of, they're clear seed beads with a hot pink on the inside. And I was worried that they might be a bit too dark of a pink. So I sort of mixed in with them, these um, transparent um, little bubble ones with an AB finish, sort of oil slick finish. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, I do think I extended the beading up under the left arm, armhole. And um, yeah, but I didn't sort of do the strings of seed beads quite up to there. I think I'll attach the sleeves and then um, I might have to do a little bit more. I just didn't want any where I was going to brush my arm against them regularly. So yeah, I'll just, once the sleeves are attached, I'll do a little bit more. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. It is asymmetrical, but I kind of like that about it. And this is the back. I put quite a few more beads on the back and I sort of um, made that asymmetrical as well. So I sort of, on the left side, they sort of go up to the, under the sleeve so that it sort of matches with the front. So now it is time to attach the sleeves. First I double checked that I had the correct ones on the correct side, so the right on the right and the left on the left. Then I very slowly and carefully pinned them in and um, yeah, oh my gosh, the beading, because all the beading is at the bottom and there's none at the top, the weight distribution is really odd. So yeah, it was lazy of me to do the beading first and not do the sleeves first. So never again. But um yeah, so I've um sewn uh, I've pinned both sleeves into place. So then I machine sewed very carefully and yeah, the the beading just made it so much harder. So then I turned it out and just checked that all the seams are fine. There's no puckers or Pleat, unintentional pleats or anything like that so then I turned it back in inside out and I d reinforced it with another row of machine stitching really carefully and then once that was done then it is time to cut down um you cut down the seam allowance I only do the bottom half of the sleeve hole I don't do the whole thing there's a lot of um YouTube sewers who complain that their sleeves fall apart or they get holes in their arm um sleeves so yeah just do the bottom half and only cut half the seam allowance and of course you could should clip your curves so that it sits nicely and then pin it from the outside pin the um the seam allowance inside. I've got a different video that will sh show it clearer from another jacket I made. Here we are. This is the base jacket I made for the yellow floral jacket. 
and um, because it's all the fabrics are transparent you can sort of see what's happening so see if you leave the seam allowance to at its full length up at the shoulder then it helps support the shoulder and makes it beautiful and round and um, yeah so now I just stitch down the seam allowance towards into the sleeve so now the seam allowance has been stitched down I do it, go around twice the first time I go around from the outside and then I sort of turn it inside and stitch down it from inside and then I turn it out again and I just roll the seam between my fingers and just back and forth back and forth and it settles the stitches so you can't see them and then next I just um, pinned and then hand stitched the hem so that's done now so here we now I've put it on the mannequin just to have a look to see that they're good and they are beautiful. I love a beautifully shaped shoulder and I forgot to do the cuffs. So I the next thing I did was just pin the cuffs and then hand stitch them up. So they are done now. And then the next thing is the lining. So I sewed the, uh, the lining up and this one has a yoke. Um, a tweed yoke and I personally prefer that so once that was done and um, yeah so you basically just make it the same way you make a jacket you just stitch all the pieces together and then hand stitch down the seam allowance and once that's done you get the jacket the outer jacket back out and lay it on bench and just make sure the edges are clear and tuck the sleeves in and then um, right sides together you put the lining down and uh, that's a truer color it's a mint green and um, yeah the camera is not picking up the correct color anyway so you pin them together at the edges and then you machine sew them and then of course I once that was done I hand stitched the um, the seam allowance down so everything's ready oh it's so cute the um yeah the green silk that I use for the lining is not coming across as green on camera it's sort of a weird color but it yeah it's gorgeous in person and um yeah so the next thing is I had to um do the collar so I turned everything inside out so the right sides of the lining and the tweed jacket are together and then I just very carefully pinned all the layers together I use my big pins the ones that look like hat pins just because I feel that they go through all the layers of the tweed well without distorting anything and then I stitched around with the machine and then I checked it and then I did another stitched again just to reinforce it and then I cut off half the seam allowance and then I did notches in the rest just so that when I turn it out the um the collar will sit evenly and yeah so then I just turned it back to the right side out and um poked out the corners and yeah and then I pinned it so and the next thing is I have to top stitch so here it is that all the top stitching has been done and everything is ready so now what I have to do is pin the silk lining to the hem and I also have to pull the lining sleeves through into the actual sleeves and um, stitch, hand stitch them down. So here it is, ta-da! Isn't it fabulous? I just think this color combination is the cutest. I love it so much. And I think the um, pink beads that go up onto the arm there are adorable. I really, really love the way this turned out. So yeah, I haven't um, attached gone along and stitched down the lining just yet because I think some of those bottom beads I'm not sure about I think I might take one of them out and add a couple just right next to it so yeah and this is what it looks like from the side there is a lot less on the back than the front which is incredibly unusual for me normally I have the same amount of weight on the front of the jacket as there is on the back so I think I'll probably have to wear this a couple of times 
and yeah, decide whether I can <laughs> can live with it or whether I really need to add more beads. But I think it's interesting. I mean, I've got over 60 jackets and this is the only one where the front and the back have different amounts of weight. The left and the right side have the same amount of weight. So that's um, important too. So yeah. I've only also only got one other jacket where there's no beads at the neckline. So that's, um yeah, that might take some getting used to. But I do think I like it. So, um yeah. And, and oh, I just adore this colour combination. It is seriously cute. It is just so adorable. I've got um, the cutest pink um cotton fabric that's got little flowers on it, uh, embroidered on it. And yeah, I'm going to make a shirt with it. So yes, I think I will be wearing those two together once that shirt is made. So thank you for watching and yay, my green and pink Chanel jacket has finally made.